Okay, let's give a warm welcome to one of America's number one motivated speakers, Brian Howard. In the National Football League, every year the best of the very best come together. The rooms are filled with playmakers, people that find a way to make the impossible happen. To be the go-to called on person when the competition says it's too hard. To be able to walk in a new world where they're saying we're in a recession and things are tough and it's too hard and people aren't winning, yet you turn a deaf ear to the adversity and you head right into that storm and seek out that place in the forest where the gale winds blow the most fierce. That's what competitors do. That's what playmakers do. That's who you are. We knew we're in their business of outperforming the competition. And today the new market indicators is to win gains in market share. To build a life client relationship. To be so good at what you do in the market when everyone else is being commoditized because of your service, your character, your commitment, and what you bring to the game every day, you become the sole source. That's how competitors win, and in doing so, you focus on the bottom line, delivering the best, being on top every day. Gentleman stood up from Chicago and says, I was there, you got killed. I said, we did. He said, you got destroyed. He said, we did. He said, no, you got dominated. So I stepped off the platform to give him a little perspective. <laughs> he had a little reality check and saw what 68350 looked like. I asked him a couple questions, and I'll ask a couple questions of some Chicago Bear fans here. I asked him, I said, do you believe in order to win, you have to build a die-hard, passionate team, single vision, clearly defined goals, focused on winning every single day. Do you believe that's important? He said, yes. I said, you and I have a lot in common. I said, do you believe in order to win, you must be a playmaker. You must find a way to make plays. You've got to put together deals that other people can't do. You've got to be able to find a solution that other people can't see. Do you believe that's important? He says, yes. I said, we have a lot in common. I said, do you believe in business? You have to be focused on the bottom line. You have to take cost out of your customers' budgets. You have to be fiscally responsible. But you have to grow revenues and make money. Do you believe that's important? The M word. He said, yes. It's very important. I said, great, let's go back to that game in 1985. He said, yes. When the Bears beat us, yes. When they dominated us, I said, yes. I said, how much money did you make that day? He said, uh, not very much. I said, I didn't do too bad. <laughs> You're in the business to outperform the competition, to win gains in market share, to make the impossible happen and get paid and make money. That's why you're assembled. There's no other reason. In the NFL, we had to focus on that. Running full speed against air, looking down the field, there was Walter Payton. I went over to him, I had to ask the question, Walter, why are you running so hard? You're only going to play 10 plays in the Pro Bowl, and then it's the off season. And he looked at me, I'll never forget. He says, I'm currently breaking the tackles I must face next year that are impossible to break. I'm building a memory map to an anticipated future. Joe Montana and Jerry Rice were running a down and out pattern. I didn't get it. You run down, you run out. Why is that significant? And I went and saw Joe. His eyes were closed. 
I said, Joe, what are you doing? He said, it's a myth to believe that in order to win and complete passes, you're going to be able to see your receiver the whole time. It's a myth. It's a myth to believe that you serve your client once and they've been loyal for years. It's a myth to believe that they're going to stick if you don't improve and add more and create more value and find new ways to win. It's a myth. It's not going to happen. I said, Joe, how many times did you throw a ball to receiver you didn't see? He said, 10. I completed three. I said, that's not very high. <laughs> and they turned to me in his steely eyes stare and says, but I won two games. That was it. The conversation he was having with himself in the face of the impossible was significant.